What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at Deepcool's brand new digital air coolers. So let's go ahead and take a look. Deepcool is giving their entire AK line the digital treatment. So you're gonna have an AK400 digital, an AK500S digital, an AK500 digital, and an AK620 digital. Today, we're taking a look at the AK400 digital as well as the AK620 digital. Deepcool is also gonna give you the choice between a white cooler or a black cooler. Now, we have the black coolers here today, and they're fashioned after Deepcool's zero dark line, so all black everything, and of course, the white ones are all white everything. Let's start with the AK620 Digital, which is, of course, the largest cooler in the new digital line. Now, I'll go ahead and put the official dimensions, you know, like I always do right here. Now, while this is a large cooler, it's definitely not the largest CPU cooler that I've seen. Being that it is 162 millimeters tall, it's actually two millimeters taller than the original AK620. At the front of the cooler, we have our first 120 millimeter cooling fan, and the second is, of course, in the center. These identical 120 millimeter fans feature a fluid dynamic bearing that offers low noise operation without losing cooling output. The PWM range is 500 to 1850 RPM, and the noise adds its max load is 28 dBA. Looking at the cooler from the side, we can see the dual tower design as well as that center fan and just how thick this cooler is. Now the fans are attached to the heatsink using fan clips and since we have that zero dark design, these are all black. We can also see a slight cutout in the back heatsink to make sure there's no interference with motherboard components. Moving around to the back of the cooler, we can see how the actual heatsink is designed with its matrix fin layout. This not only looks good, but it's gonna help with heat dissipation. The cooler has been capped off at the top and that's where you're gonna find the real-time status display, which also has some RGB lighting on it. It has a very glossy finish to it. There are six six millimeter thick copper heat pipes that start at the base of the cooler and go up into the heat sinks in a U fashion. This is pretty typical when it comes to a dual tower cooler. These again are black to go with the zero dark theme. The base of the cooler is made of thick nickel plated copper and has one of the better finishes that I've seen on a cooler lately. This means you're gonna have good and even contact with your CPU. Now onto the AK400 digital. This is actually the smallest cooler in the new digital line. Now I'll go ahead and put the official dimensions, you know, right here. And this cooler is only one millimeter taller than the original AK400. At the front of this cooler, we have our single 120 millimeter cooling fan. Now this is also a fluid dynamic bearing fan that's gonna spin between 500 and 1850 RPM with a max noise level of 28 dBA. Looking at the cooler from the side, we can see the single tower design and just how thin it is. You really aren't gonna have to worry about clearances with this cooler. The fan is attached to the heatsink using fan clips. At the back of the cooler, we can see the matrix fin layout of the heatsink. This not only looks good, but it's gonna help with heat dissipation. At the top, the cooler has been capped off, and this is where you're gonna find that real-time status display, which also has some RGB lighting on it. There are four six millimeter thick copper heat pipes, which are painted black to go with the zero dark theme. These are direct touch heat pipes, so they're gonna make direct contact with your CPU, then go up into the heatsink in a U fashion. Deepcool has opted to pre-install thermal paste on the cooler, which I know some of you won't be a fan of, but I think it's great for beginners. Both of these coolers are very easy to install and the instructions are easy to follow as well. Now the AK400 digital should be pretty easy to install with your motherboard mounted inside your system because the AK620 is a little bit larger. It will be a little bit harder to install with your motherboard mounted. We do, of course, all of our installations outside of cases. Now the AK620 will take a little bit more time because you do have to remove the fans as well as the top cap to get it installed. But installation of both of these coolers shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes. With the coolers installed, you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect the fans to your motherboard. You'll also find an ARGB connection as well as a USB 2.0 connection. 
that you're going to need to connect to your motherboard as well. Now, we had no problem routing that USB 2.0 connector all the way around the back side of our motherboard and up through the bottom of our case to connect to the bottom header on our motherboard. For reference, this is the Be Quiet PureBase 500DX case. When you turn your system on for the first time, this display actually won't turn on. You'll need to go ahead and install the AK Digital Software, which I will go over. Now, this display is not actually an LCD display. It's a digital display, so we're really limited on what we can actually display. So the only two metrics that you can show here is the CPU temperature and then CPU usage in real time. That is it. And there is a little a status bar right here. So as our temperature would increase or our CPU usage would increase, this little bar will, of course, increase as well. So that is all you're going to get with this display. And again, you can choose. I will show you in the software, but you can choose, you know, if you just want temperature, if you just want usage, if you want both. I have it cycling through both. There's also some RGB elements. So there's one right here at the bottom. And then we have one, you know, right here at the top. If you connected this to your motherboard's ARGB connection, you can control it with your motherboard's RGB software. The AK Digital app sort of lives on your taskbar. So we have it right here. And if we right click, we can select our device. Under display switch, you can show what it displays. So either temperature or utilization, or you can select automatic and it will cycle between the two. Under temperature display, we can select either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Alarm control, you can turn that on or off. Of course, launch the app at Windows Startup. Support, you can go to the website, you can check for updates and all of that, and then you can select your language as well. And you can reboot the device if you are having issues, but it is an extremely simple app. When it comes to testing, we're gonna be testing both temperatures as well as noise levels. So here's a full breakdown of the hardware in our test system. As we come to the end here, I really like these new digital coolers and Deepcool actually introduced the AK line all the way back in 2021 and they were excellent coolers. And then we saw the white version come out and then the all black zero dark versions come out of all the coolers. And now we have the digital versions. And I really like this because it allows Deepcool to, you know, to still use that same cooler design, right? So all these coolers are essentially the same as the originals, except for again, we have the digital display here. It just gives you the option. If you want the digital display, you can go ahead and pick that one up. If you just want an all white one, you can pick that up. If you just want the original cooler, you can go ahead and pick that up. It's really all up to you, which I definitely like. Now, the addition of the digital display is awesome. While it's not a LCD screen that you can display pretty much anything, it still gives you the ability to check your CPU usage as well as your temperature in real time. So if you are having an issue, you could just glance over at your computer and be like, okay, you know, something's maxing out my CPU or man, it's really hot in there. Like what's going on? Um, you can go ahead and do that with these coolers, which is definitely nice. And of course, you know, with everything deep cool, they made it look nice. They made it look sleek. We have a little bit of RGB accents on the top and on the bottom. You know, again, it's not crazy like RGB in your face, which I definitely like. Um, and then, you know, you have it across the entire line. So when we talked to Deepcool at CES earlier this year, they said they weren't sure which models are going to get the digital treatment, but it's all the models. So you have everything from the low end, from the AK400 all the way up to the AK620. Um, so depending on, you know, your use case, as well as what CPU you're running, you know, you can pick which cooler that you want. Now, as far as performance goes, I would say the AK400 digital, that's going to be for your entry level to mid-range CPU. I wouldn't run this on a high-end CPU. And then on the AK620, this is actually one of the best performing air coolers that we've tested lately. So you could easily run this on a Core i9 or a Ryzen 9 processor, no problem. 
both of these are extremely easy to install as well especially the ak400 this can be installed with your motherboard mounted you know inside your system no problem um you know and then as far as pricing goes on these the ak400 is going to be 49.99 and the ak620 is going to be 79.99 now i'll go ahead and put links below where you can go ahead and pick these up as well as links to our written reviews of both of these coolers so if you have any questions about these coolers go ahead and leave it in the comments section below and if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up we'll see you guys in the next video.